Straw, essentially, as I was saying, is not hay. Very, very important, something I need to emphasize because hay is a very, very poor building material. Um, it's a less dense, it is edible, animals and bugs love it. Straw, because of the way that it's grown, it, it is not digestible. You're dealing with cellulose. So these animals basically look at it, they might take a little bit of it and build a nest, but they're not going to eat it. Pest-wise, you have as much problem in a traditional structure as you do with straw. In fact, you have more because you've got open wall spaces. So when you hear the little mice crawling around in your walls, there's your pest problem. I defy you to find a mouse that can fit inside a straw bale wall. Um, it's very compressed. There's really no place for them to go. This is an interesting little factoid. It gives you an idea of what this resource can give you. Um, you're looking at building 5 million homes with the stuff we burn. And in the U.S., that's well over twice what you actually, what is built in this country. And this is before the housing collapse, where now 27% of those houses are not being built this year. Um, essentially, what you're looking at is every single house could easily be built with straw bale. And when you did that, you would immediately lower the carbon footprint of that house in two ways. First... You're obviously taking a product that pulled carbon out of the atmosphere in the first place to grow. You are preventing it from being burned and releasing that carbon back into the atmosphere. And because you are so efficient in this house, in the way that it uses the thermal energy that is being either brought in or kept out, you will use anywhere from 70 to 80 percent less electricity to heat and cool that home than you are using in your home right now. So just the properties of the building material kind of make it a no-brainer. And this is why it's catching on and becoming more and more popular throughout the country because people actually do want to save electricity. It's so one way to do it, stop using it in the first place. And if some of these straw bale homes, particularly unfortunately in the drier areas, there is no furnace and there is no climate control system because you don't need it. If you build it with passive solar in mind, if you orient the house properly in the first place to use that sunlight, once it's in there, you're basically heating and cooling your home naturally. If it gets too warm, you open a window. If it gets too cold, you close a window. Because the house itself does not allow that heat or cool to move to the outside. There is no transfer, which means that house maintains its temperature significantly better than any other type of building. It's kind of the concept you see in an earth ship, but if everybody is familiar with that, essentially it's a half buried home. Because the earth maintains a certain temperature, these buildings will also maintain a certain temperature because you don't get that transfer. Um, some of them will be built with radiant floors where you're actually using the earth to heat and cool the home without ever having to do anything. The building that we're putting up in Crescent Hill, it has a south face with a lot of glass. That will heat that entire <coughs> building. When it starts to get too hot in the middle of summer and we don't want that, you draw a curtain. It's really not a difficult thing to do. This is how things worked 50 years ago, it's how they worked 100 years ago, it's how they worked 1,000 years ago. We've got houses in Nebraska right now that are 200 years old. We've got houses in Europe that are 500 years old and in perfect shape structurally. And these were Nebraska style houses. They were not stick frame. We've gone a long way in the technology that goes into these types of structures to the point now where we use automatic bailers. They used to take the stuff and stick it in a ball and coat it in mud, and that's how they built. Now it's harvested, it's compressed, it's twined, and that is your building material. The idea behind building sustainable is using materials that the earth already provides. 
lowering your costs in the process and creating a healthier environment. The idea here is you can build it yourself. It doesn't take a genius to put one of these things together. And you can make it structurally sound without putting steel and plastic and all of these other things into there. The building that we're making is totally sustainable. We're actually salvaging wood from what other people have torn down. So the structure, other than about 140 linear feet of fresh wood, we've actually gathered up the materials from torn down barns and other things to build this unit. We're making it as pristine as we possibly can. It'll be passive solar for your heat and cool. It'll run photovoltaic cells with LED bulbs for lighting, and it will have a water catchment and cistern system already in it with a hand pump. So essentially, build it, you don't have to do anything. We don't have to run plumbing, we don't have to run electricity, because we're not building it that way. Now mind you, this is a studio, it's not a home. A home is a different animal. But if you take the pieces of the puzzle for sustainability and put them all into place, you can actually very easily build an off-the-grid home and dig a well. I mean, if that's what it comes down to. You can do virtually anything with straw bed. You can make rounded curves, which is what everybody loves about straw bale houses, is they look very organic. They look earth friendly. If you lay them on end, you're dealing with an 18 inch wall. If you do it <coughs> stacked flat, it's a 36 inch. So it depends on the way you want to use the bales. And you can build either way. In this case, they were doing a stick frame. So it really didn't matter how they positioned the bales. But if you're going to build a Nebraska style, you have to lay them flat. Otherwise, you're going to compromise the strength of the entire building and your roof is going to collapse eventually. This is 180 bales of straw, which is going to easily build this entire structure. The material costs for this building right now are less than 1500